So I'm doing electrics. Um, I am fitting a new inverter in the van all by myself with no help whatsoever. Mr. WB is definitely not here helping me out and definitely not telling me what to do so I don't electrocute myself. The dog. <laughs> The dog is just staring at him. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> um, yeah, the inverter in my van broke on my Scotland trip. So I am getting a new one. And I said I want to fit it by myself because I know lots of people are confused about how to fit an inverter. So I'm going to fit it with supervision. And um, hopefully it will help you learn how to fit yours as well. If we don't die. Ah, get off dog, get off dog, don't ever work with children or puppies. Right, that's my inverter that broke. Yep. Look at the dust. What you're up. fitting is a big inverter. So an inverter is not like a diesel engine that you want to run hard. No. You want an inverter to not be maxed out. Plenty of okay, good to know. So let's unstrap it first of all. Oh, it is just strapped in, okay. Am I literally just pulling the things out the bottom? No, no, no. Because if you pull things out the bottom, they will touch. Okay, so what am I doing? At the bottom, there is, if you can see, a red and a black wire. The first thing we're going to do mm. is take off the black wire and not let it touch anything else. You get <laughs> lots of grief from people. <laughs> you should have done it. I think you're doing the red. I thought, no, that's the red. I'm doing the black. Oh. Not as easy. <laughs> the dog. Can you just pull back to see the dog? What are you doing, mummy? What are you doing? Negative off and out of the way, okay? Positive. Hang on, I'm trying to film round the dog. Okay. Out of the way. Okay. okay. So what are these two connected to? They're connected to the connections on the they're, battery. They're, got, they're directly to the leisure battery. Look at the scraps on the back of that. That's you, that is. That's you. You checking cable, Diameter. so you're literally just checking the size of the cables. Yeah, so when I fitted this one, yeah, um, I fitted it with bigger cables. Okay, so now, how do you know what size cable? I suppose these cables came with the inverter, yeah, didn't they? These are thicker, so we're going to change those cables, they're too thin. Uh, okay, so we are going to go to the battery. Yeah, go to the battery. Well, that's good, people will be excited about that. Okay, cool. So, this is our leisure battery, yeah. And in here, you can see I fitted, yeah, I did, I fitted the wires to it. So what we need can to do... Can you pull up that black one so I can see? You see the black wire there? Oh, okay, so it's just attached yeah. to the terminal. So a very important point on this is Come. you never want anything to short these two terminals it will explode by shorting them you mean touching them together nothing metal can touch these two together yeah. okay or nothing metal can uh, the wires touch together so all we're going to do is take that off and swap it out for the bigger cable and the same on the negative and put them back one at a time so Ooh, yeah i know so it's very exciting So all you've done there is you've pushed the lead down the back yep. and then so yeah you've put the connection on the side of the bolt so you've gone the yep. lead then the thing is there a reason for that or is it just makes it uh, easier for you because it's just because it's on the left hand side it will then just be a bit shorter a bit oh, more okay yeah because we're a bit worried about the length yeah. weren't we of the lead okay that makes sense that's all it is so making sure that the red cable isn't touching the body work or anything like that nothing metal at the back don't roll too tight you want it tight so that it so it can't turn. Yeah. So the actual um, battery terminal can't turn. But at yeah. the same time, you don't want to thread the bolt. People far too many times tighten things far too tight. It's from the guy who's an espresso cup I can never open. That's just because you're weak. So that is now that on, covered. done, yep. covered. So that's now the live dump. That's the live dump. Same on this side? Yep. The difference is quite substantial. So that's 300 watts and this one is? It's two kilowatts. Two kilowatts? Two kilowatts yeah. I've got okay. it so that you could run a small hairdryer. So what you get, <laughs> two terminals, yep. as per the other. Yep. Okay. You've connected the two batteries. So you've literally just popped them on and then yep. screwed them in, okay? 
going to push this back and for now we're just going to keep it there until we're, we're happy with it. On, off. On, off. Okay. That's it, done. Do we want to test it? Could we test it on my EcoFlow because that desperately needs a charge, please? And then... <laughs> that, thanks, Mac. That, thank you. Away, puppy. Away. <laughs> Go on. Right, just give it a second. It always takes a second. Um, so what we can do, mm -hmm. it comes with a remote control. Right, so, so this was a cable that came with the, the set. Yeah, it's got a remote control with it. So Is that why you picked this inverter? Because it had a remote control with it? No, I picked this inverter because it had the best reviews. It was the best output and the most efficient that I could find for the money without okay. spending thousands. How much was it? I can't remember. A few couple of hundred pounds. Okay. So right. plug the cable. It's just a, a Cat5 cable. Yep. So you plug that in the front, yep. plug it into the back there, yep. and then you get this, okay? Now you leave that switched off, you don't turn that on. Yeah. When you want to turn it on, you do this. And it tells you your battery voltage. Okay, hang on. The screen cover thingy. Okay, oh hang on, don't move it, don't move it, don't move it, don't move it. There, stay there. It tells you your battery voltage. Yeah. It tells you your load, so how many watts you're using. So now we've turned it on, let's plug this in. You should see that load start to kick up. I'll give it a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you so go. So what does that 240 volts, 50 hertz? Yeah, so that's that's what the inverter is giving out. Yeah. That 13 volts is your battery. Now it's up at 13 volts because what, it's the leisure charging. battery. Leisure battery. Yeah. It's charging. Yeah. You're on mains. So this is a 2000 watt, watt inverter. And we're using approximately to charge the eco flow Just i reckon that's half. about a third yeah so, so that's drawing probably about 650 watts this eco flow yeah which is why your other inverter wouldn't do it wouldn't yeah i couldn't do it yeah that's what's blowing your inverter you've drawn too much oh. that's fascinating hadn't considered so, that glad i got the uh the larger one yeah thank so you that is didn't occur to um, me i just thought it would use up to 300 watts and it would just charge slower it didn't occur to me it would blow it and then those two little things here are for like ipads and phones and stuff if you wanted to use those yeah that's cool so having done investigations we've discovered <coughs> that the ecoflow takes was it 500 watt 500 input? watts so if you want to charge it off an inverter you need at least a 500 watt inverter and this inverter was only 300 watts yes i didn't realize it would go boom i just thought it would take longer okay so i fitted in there and he has run the wire all underneath and then down under the carpet, into there, down the back here, and it's now in there. So actually, that wasn't anywhere near as terrifying as I thought it was going to be. I feel I did a very good job. Did an amazing job. But I did film it, and I'm now going to make a bacon sandwich as a thank you, which I think is a fair trade. So if you don't know how to fit an inverter, find someone who does and make them bacon sandwich. It's the moral of the day. Mm, thank you for your help. You're welcome. <laughs> If anybody's got any questions, drop them below and I will get somebody who knows what they're talking about to answer them. Uh, if you found this video helpful, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel and would like more motorhome tips, then by all means hit subscribe. Thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.